I will be in a chat room with like 600 women, 1600 women will be there talking about how they wish that they knew women who were actually about that life and didn't just talk the talk. And here I am and y'all don't really share the videos, y'all don't really pass the word around to, you know, the other ladies that there are a few because I don't know many of us. And keep in mind, unlike a lot of the other women who date interracially or marry interracially or in hypergamous relationships, I repeat that I grew up in poverty from the hood and the ghetto, whatever. I do repeat that to you guys because I know a lot of black women are coming from that and they want to know how they can get to a better place, right? To a safer place. At the end of the day, you don't want to be constantly having to learn techniques about how to protect yourself. If you're in a safer environment, you don't have to worry about those things. You don't have to constantly live in a heightened state of fear. That is the goal. If you had a traumatic childhood like me, I was non-compromising about that. My adulthood, everything I do, elevate, 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 elevate. That's what we're here to do. Empower, elevate, enlighten. So join me over on Patreon. You'll get a sense of when you put the work in and life delivers to you what you deserve and what you command. Amen? Okay. Uh, share the videos with women that are actually looking for solutions and answers and not just a bunch of the same old, same old. What's up you guys so uh, vlogging time on the weekends we're always like what do you want for breakfast you know like what do you want to do and we like went to mcdonald's yesterday and got mcgriddles and i'm like ugh, cannot do that all the time at all and i haven't been there in months because uh, you know i i just can't with mcdonald's but anyways so we had steak and eggs for breakfast this morning and as you can see our steak is usually medium rare that's the way that we both like it i like the fatty part of the steak and like stays a little bit more lean. This is just like a typical breakfast for us. And we're gonna watch some of The Last Kingdom while we eat. What's up you guys? So I am in Red Hook and I wanted to share this vlog with you. I just started a Patreon. So uh, go ahead and check my Patreon out and subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more of my interracial dates so you can see, you know, what life is like when you're in a hypergamous interracial relationship. And you can see it firsthand from a woman who's actually in an interracial relationship with a hypergamous man. I know a lot of people talk about it, but like I said, I don't talk about anything that I don't experience personally. I wanted to address real quickly, I so appreciate the protesters that have put themselves on the front lines and risked their lives protesting the injustice, the racial injustice, the police brutality that Black Americans have to face in this country. As I wanted to cover the events going down in New York, my husband is not with that at all. It's way too dangerous out there from what we've seen in New York and it looks like a lot of anarchists have co-opted the movement and they're causing a lot of chaos. There's enough coverage out there and I can support from home in various ways. But this is one of the things that I've talked about a lot on my social media, which is that people really need to look at how the protesters move in Hong Kong, right? And they're strategic and they're, they organize and they're effective because of that. And everything needs to have a plan. So I'm not gonna descend into chaos. I'm gonna be productive where and how I can be. Go ahead and check out my Patreon. I have our whole date, our bike ride on the path here. Enjoying this beautiful day. I'm just so grateful for days like these. And, and I was telling Ken that I think that as the people resist, there'll be more appreciation for days like these, for moments like these that I'm having right now. And you know, the Karens and Beckys of the world will 
appreciate the day and mind their business and stop trying to police people and they'll just appreciate the day too like everyone else does. So I, I really feel like that's something that we can get from this experience. I'm going to continue to be anti-racist and hold racist and racism accountable and not let white supremacy rhetoric like the race card stop me from holding racist and racism accountable whether it's a microaggression whether you meant it or not whether you were joking whether you care or not right is right wrong is wrong racism is racism and it needs to be called out because protecting white fragility is what is leading directly to the murders of innocent black americans and that's got to stop this house is really giving me vintage hill house vibes tease you know what i'm saying so i wanted to share this with you ladies guys make sure you check out my patreon and you will get this entire dating video for your viewing pleasures <laughs> oh my gosh you guys ken just said this is a good place to shoot a good divestment video <laughs> <laughs> about that real divestment life actually divested just to be honest when you get to the divestment place i feel like you can really start loving yourself your authentic self your blackness as a black woman all that shit even more when you truly divested because you leave all of that toxicity behind you and you're able to embrace yourself see what i'm saying real hot girl shit you know what i'm saying ain't nothing wrong with it I, i'm just appreciative always just for peace <laughs> after people try to just bring toxicity in your life for so many years peace is just like the bomb it looks like they've really done this uh, sidewalk art all down the uh park here and like the cops are here because they're like disturbed because this is a white town i'm assuming it was probably a group of kids that did this you know and i have a little bit of hope for the future <laughs> <laughs> it kind of gives me a little bit of hope for the future like you know maybe you guys can be different maybe you guys can check your parents the people my age and above they don't know how to check their parents they don't know how to check their families um for how they behave but maybe you guys can in this uh this next generation which i don't know if you're millennials generation x y z whatever as far as anyone my age and older, it's completely hopeless. They have no accountability. They will not confront their parents for their racism. This kind of stuff right here is confronting, making these people in this town have to face this, whether they want to talk about it or think about it or not. And I give props to whoever did it. So keep it up. Viva la resistance. So where I live just outside of New York, there are signs like this, but they do not they're not making, forcing residents to wear face masks anymore. It looks like they're gonna start opening businesses tomorrow, June 1st. So I know even in New York, various counties there are defying uh, the executive order for working and people are gonna start opening businesses back up there. So if you can protest and come together and large forces can be sent out to control it, there shouldn't be any reason why they shouldn't be able to open up businesses again. So they're probably going to do that. Okay. See you guys on the next one. Oh, I winked, but you can't see because the shades. But seriously, guys, like, what's up with the moon? Look at the moon. Like, you can see the whole moon, but it's like a crescent moon. But you can see the whole moon. I don't think that's normal. Look at the moon. You can see the whole moon. What is that flying in the sky? Is that a bat? I gotta get out of here. Oh, God.